What's up guys, welcome back, it's Densome Games here, and this is episode 50, and the final episode of the Final Fantasy VII Let's Play for the PS4. We have literally gone through everything, uh, done everything we wanted, and everything that's really worth doing, and now here we are, supposedly at the centre of the planet. Um, they got there pretty quickly, I'm not sure about that, but yeah, anyway. Here we are, and the final three bosses await. So let's get to it. A lovely growl from the earth. We'll stick with that pie, thanks. This is it. Well, we'll probably have a few battles on the way down, but we'll kick it off with Genova Synthesis. Obviously, our strongest form. We thought she was dead, but here we go. And as I say, we usually get at least one or two battles. Now, this guy can teach us an enemy skill. If we're bothered, obviously if you're going for an achievement, you're going to want it, <coughs> but um, we'll just kill him, <coughs> excuse me. There we go, we're going to learn it anyway, I think. Quite a powerful one, actually, but it's only... Only one hit, so... Oh, I did hit all of them though, which is good. Oh, come on! <laughs> we got all the way. wasn't very impressive for the size of that sword, was it? And here we go, we're here. I'll have a quick heal. Ooh, no, one's <laughs> no one's got... Fair enough. Never mind, I'll use that. And let's go. Genova. These bosses are nothing compared to the weapons, basically. I believe she has 80,000 hit, point, uh, hit points. She does no Ultima, but there's no fucking way in hell she's going to actually do that to us. She's going to be dead way before that. Mind that four cut. Mind that four cut. How'd you like that? <laughs> See, hopefully the remake is going to be a lot harder than this game. I mean, it's, it's obviously a lot more difficult if you're like on level 40, but... Like, it really doesn't take long to grind, like some games, like Final Fantasy X, 
you can literally just grind for hours and hours and hours and hours and it's ridiculous but it's not like that on this so I, I feel like grind for about I don't know, two hours um, and that was just to beat the Midgar Zolom I, think. I mean that's a little bit unnecessary I didn't have to do that but big advantage learning them enemy skills early so here we go on to our next boss and this is some weird version of Sephiroth uh, it's mostly just tripping out this guy's a little bit stronger than Genova see the main thing is you don't really get a chance to do a lot sort of boss after boss after boss but you know we have the capabilities to do anything um, and that's the round we'll just destroy all of them in one hit if you want to do it like that you don't really need we don't really need to see her and talk strategies when we're this strong if you are much lower level just make sure you get your wall up um, get a region on it's actually a good idea on this guy if you cast reflect on him as well on Sephiroth because he casts cure 2 quite often so that will bounce off and then hit you which is great and then you can just keep physical attacking him same idea basically you build your usual party and the leftovers will be um Yeah, basically they, they want you to keep switching parties, but yeah, don't. Not a good idea. Just leave them like that and then just do it all with your main guy, your main team. Obviously this is where if you're a lower level, it, it might be a good idea. Because um, you'll have a better chance perhaps with more people, but I find it usually fucks you up. Just make one strong party and just fucking destroy him like we're about to do here after this ridiculous amount of talking I won't talk through the cinematics, don't worry Here we are. I think his name is Biz Bizarro Sephiroth, something like that. Yeah. Um. Oh, my party's not gonna die. Let's go straight into a four cut. So there you go. That's why the reflect's good. explain why he's like that it's kind of like a half weird you know, he's got a little little man on his head like fuck knows what's going on there but no
Yeah, I'll give him one of those. I mean, to be, we're really just teasing him at this point. I mean, obviously we're not using any of our summons. We could just not surround him, destroy him, but... Where would the fun in that be? It's already bad enough that we took out some of the others so, so easily. But, well, there he goes. The next version will cause a little bit more trouble. Because he can actually kill you. Um, but, you know, obviously we've got Phoenix set up as usual. So, we should get straight back to the party. Straight into it, here we go. Final boss. This is what all of these previous 49 episodes of the Let's Play have been leading up to. A pretty fucked up looking guy. Um, do that one, I don't think I've used that on this. Let's Play, it'll just be nice for you to see. Uh, give him that one as well. So it's not like we're worried he's not gonna he's not gonna kill us. If he does, we're gonna get back up again anyway, so. Because he does have a summon himself. I'm not sure it's not really a summon, but it's a strong move. Supernova, who will probably do it to us. at him. <clears throat> Don't critique me for my strategy. There is none. I'm just doing random stuff to him. Like I said, he's not going to cause us any trouble. I'll just fire off a round of four cuts now and I'll probably kill him. He's st strong though, defensively. There we go, supernova. 
four and a half fucking hours later. I'll let you just view this so I won't talk for it. Oh, look at that, that's not very good. Cloud's still alive. But he silenced them basically, so um, you didn't get a final attack from Sid. Densum, however, Cloud, our champion, is wearing the ribbon, so. I ain't gonna do shit to him. Oh shit, there he goes. How it was meant to be, just cloud. Seeing as we now get sucked down even more. It's quite, in, uh, quite a good little bit here, there's another battle. A little bonus battle, you can't really lose it I think. I mean, this is all we could do. It's not over yet. Booby cutscene. You're damn right, he's still here. The real one. Well, that was a bit fucking unfair. Sorry about that. PS4 um, literally blocked that entire end cutscene, which is like 15 minutes or whatever. <laughs> All of the good shit. But 
hopefully you are watching that yourself on your own TV because you've just completed it so yeah well done and thanks for watching the let's play with me whether you've been here from the beginning or whether you've just seen this last episode it doesn't really matter either way I appreciate your presence here thank you very much uh, smash that like button if you've enjoyed it obviously if you haven't smash the dis dislike button whatever um, yeah subscribe if you're new uh, I'm gonna be doing lots of new stuff hitting lots of new um, new content very soon so yeah I've been doing some games thanks for watching see you later